So now that we've created all the components, we um, have uh, we want to give the authors the uh, opportunity to also maintain all the fields from here. Due to the fact how we created the um, markup in the scriven, we are not able, as you can see, to maintain directly, for example, the images from here, and uh, we can't choose from here which clients should be shown. Uh, as you remember, the clients are referenced from the client's teaser data source, um, so we can't choose it from here. So now the authors would have to go always to the content editor to maintain the content, which we want to avoid because I think switching tools and things like that may make it more complicated. So let's give the authors the opportunity to maintain basically everything from here. Um, what we need for that is um, is um, the content editor and we need edit frame buttons and uh, web experience buttons. So let's switch to the core database and go into content editor and in the path sidecore content applications uh, web edit and edit frame buttons we find already a long list of edit frame buttons that are provided for example by sxa and uh, the out of the box components now what we did already um, is we created a client's teaser uh, edit frame button how did we create it we just choose any of those for example the gallery image um, we just hit duplicate gave it a name client teaser and deleted all the unnecessary buttons. So um, just not to watch uh, or that you don't have to watch us deleting items. Uh, we did this already. And one thing that we need to do as well is um, changing the default title, which is later on displayed um, for the edit frame in the experience editor. And then on the uh, remaining uh, edit uh, field button. We have the header that we can change, which is displayed in the in the uh, overlay that shows us the fields that we want to maintain in Experience Editor. Uh, we give here uh, pipe separated the field names uh, from our template. So in kind of case of the client's uh, template, it's the client logo and the client website link. And we also change the tooltip so that it says uh, it's uh, edit client teaser properties. So we have to do it for a couple of more components. So that's why we just use the one that we pre-created here already and duplicate it again. And now we are creating this for the uh, Teams teaser as well as for the uh, testimonial. So they're probably down here. Let's start with the Teams teaser. Again, changing um, the title. And then, of course, save it. And then edit Teams teaser fields and Teams teaser properties. And of course, the fields in our um, in our template are a bit different, so I've prepared them already. It's team member name, team member image, and role, all pipe separated, and that's it. And let's do the same for the testimonial. So it's a uh, testimonial, save it, uh, edit testimonial, these are fields, and edit testimonial testimonial properties. Let's take out this one and of course use the fields that we have available for each reference testimonial. So that's it. Uh, I saw there was a typo. Let's go back to clients teaser. Um, and I think here is a T missing. Let's have that beautiful. OK, so we have now created the edit frames for our um, for each each individual referenced item and one thing we also want to give to the authors is the opportunity as i said to um to take the uh, to to select the referenced items also from from uh, experience editor so therefore we are going to use the custom experience buttons and we are also going to um copy uh, one of the existing just as a starting point. So let's say we copy this one here and say um, 
make it um, the giant teaser. And then let's see what we are going to have. Edit configuration item, that's all fine, but definitely diff different fields that we want to uh, maintain here. So same same idea like in the other item, just pipe separate the, the template or the, the field names of your template. So let's copy this one as well and say uh, teams, teams uh, and the teams teaser has different fields, of course. Oops, so I'm copying it from here. So, and now duplicating it again and taking the testimonial and this one has just one field, which is testimonials safe. So that's what we have to do in the core database. Now we can switch back to the master database. And on the one hand, we want to give um, the opportunity now to the rendering to see the additional uh, experience button. So let's go down to the renderings and layouts, renderings feature, um, SXA tutorial, probably basic components, here we are. And there should be a field where we can select here, experience editor buttons. So we want the client teaser button to be shown for the client teaser, of course. Then for the Teams teaser, we want the Teams teaser button to be shown. And for the testimonial, we want the testimonial button to be shown. And as you see right here, there are, there are multiple options, multiple buttons to select from, things like insert, for example. So let's say that our uh, users want to insert a new testimonial item or a new uh, client or a, a team member, you could use those buttons as well, and they will just use insert options there, which are defined on the data templates itself. Mm -hmm. So it would be also just more or less copy paste and a bit of configuration that you do on the item itself. And um, yeah, then you can replicate the out of the box functionalities directly um, to your own renderings. Um, so let's see what we got so far. Just refreshing the page. So we can see that the client teaser has now an additional button here. And if I click on it, I can see that I now uh, that I'm now able to maintain all the fields directly from the experience editor. So the title I was uh, able to maintain before, but we just added it here for um, for being consistent. But also we have now access to the, the field referencing our clients and we can uh, rearrange things here. So that's the first step. And the second step is that we want to maintain each individual reference client item here. And therefore we need to um, do some changes in our markup. So if I switch to the uh, theme, in Visual Studio Code, and I've started already the SXA watch, Watcher. What I need to add is um, the so-called SC edit frame. So let's uh, start typing SC underscore edit. Um, well, is it not in the list? Interesting. Hmm. So the secret function. A secret function, okay. Anyway, it works uh, quite easy. So the first thing you give it is um, the context item, which in this case, as we are in the loop, looping through the reference items, is not the I item, but the I client coming here from the loop. And then we have to pass the name of, um, of our edit frame, which in this case, if I remember correctly, should be client teaser. And uh, this function uh, needs also a closing element, which is closing then the SC edit. And oh, edit frame. And edit frame, you're right. And edit frame. Uh, you can also look this up in the in the documentation. So it's pretty well documented again, also with some examples which are ready to copy, copy and paste and just uh, adjust for your needs. So yeah, that should be good to go. Let's save it. It's, uh, it was synced. And now let's have a look to our client's teaser. 
Okay, looks still as it should be. But as you can see, we can now select the items. And if I click on this little icon here, you see that uh, client logo and client website link are now maintainable also in, uh, in Experience Editor. So last but not least, let's replicate that for the other components as well. And then we are done. So it should be Teams teaser. Well, let's copy paste things. Uh, SC edit frame. Teams teaser. So let's put it in here probably. Yeah, that's the one thing that you do need to be careful with is that you um, you can easily mess up your your styling and, and things like that. So you need to play a bit with where to position those edit frames because in in the end they will add some HTML to your uh, to your page within the experience editor. Therefore, uh, it could be messing things up for the authors. Yeah, especially if you have it. So as we're using Bootstrap, uh, we also have the class row and class columns. So uh, usually Bootstrap doesn't like to have something in between any other divs and classes, so it needs to follow directly. And if we add the edit frame, it will add, as uh, Mark stated, some uh, some markup uh, in between, and this will break our layout. So that's uh, this one. And let's also directly do the other one. So do here. Well, actually, it I have changed. No, yeah, I didn't. I was just <laughs> talking. Testimonial, and I think it wasn't a teaser. Let's jump back. Uh, that should be Teams teaser. Spelled with a Teams E. And let's refresh the page that contained all our components. So this one is, ooh, we have, yes, we have an error because we didn't close one of our, yes, we didn't close one of our edit frames. Edit frame and it's end edit frame. Solving it. Luckily, yes. So let's have a look at the Teams teaser. So on the one hand, we have the additional button here uh, to have our reference team teammates that we want to show here. And we have now the ability to adjust each uh, team member separately also from here. So that improves the authoring uh, experience a lot, I think. So um, yeah. Let's have a look here as well. So we have the testimonial with all the data that we need. And if we go one level up, then we can also choose the different testimonials that we are going to display. Yeah, so you can see that using Scriven, you can still offer your authors the same functionality as you would have with, with normal vanilla MVC cycle implementations uh, for that matter. Um, we implemented the same edit frames and, and options uh, using Scribble. 